My name is Stacey M. Buchanan, and I'm an actress and producer who currently resides in Toronto. Back in 2011, while living in Vancouver, I was diagnosed with anxiety, and shortly after that, I developed a severe case of suicidal depression. I can attest to you that dealing with both of these mental illnesses and overcoming them is a core key to my success story. Okay, the story behind making this documentary is I myself have been through anxiety and depression and originally I wanted to create a book to show my journey but because I'm more of a visual person I decided to do a documentary and I decided to do it about the black community because it's such a stigma that has been swept under the rug for a very long time. Um, I got anxiety while I was living in Vancouver and at first I didn't even know what it was but I just felt like my heart was just racing like a million times per second and um, even even after my anxiety it spiraled into depression and it was something that was new to me and I didn't know how to control it. I think that we have such a stigma because I think it's a cultural thing. From other cultures uh, they're more accepting like we did some research online and found that um, in the different communities like Caucasians, Native community, they actually had specific research about um, how many people um, had depression, anxiety, um, how many people got help. So they had statistics. You know, in our community, we had no statistic. And the basis of that is because although we do suffer from it and there is a rise, we're just not having the statistics to back it up because people are not getting the help in our community that they need. The documentary on the whole, when it first came to me, Stacy had just brought it up. And it's just her talking and telling her story she kind of helped me deal with my own issues and me talking to her and knowing that someone else was going to communicate with me about it. And it wasn't something that I had to feel insecure about or feel that I was alone in the situation is kind of where this documentary, I kind of think it came to some kind of life, especially with all these ladies. They all have a different story. They all have a different way of how they're dealing with it and different types of mental health that we're so unaware of that are happening in our day to day. These are the people that we're associating with on a regular basis. These are the girls we're seeing in the clubs. These are the girls we work with every now and again when we're on set. And at the end of the day, I don't think if any of them hadn't come forward and said, this is what my story is, we probably would not have known. I, I honestly believe I would not have known any of these ladies' story. So as a whole, it's a series of combined stories talking about what they're dealing with, how maybe they are combating it, and looking at it as a comedian, we're just trying to say, okay, well, we need to work on this. We have to do better. You can get involved by visiting the Indiegogo campaign that we've had. We've got that started and it's www.indiegogo.com slash the blind stigma. Donation starts for as little as $2. It is just the price of a coffee. There are other ways that you can donate too. For instance, if you're a business mm -hmm. and you want to help out with the cause, if you want to come on board, just message us. Send us a message at the blind stigma at gmail.com. You can find us on Facebook. Facebook slash The Blind Stigma. And there's also the website, www.theblindstigma.com. So I've been a social worker for the last 12 years. Um, I've worked in various settings. So I've worked one-to-one um, -one with people with mental illness. I've worked in the hospital. i uh, worked in the group home setting. Um, I've also been a foster parent. So I've had a wide, wide range of experience. Uh, right now, I work with a, a company that works with clients that have um, anything bipolar, autism, um, depression. And I also work with a crisis team going into the community and working with people that are struggling with mental illness. I've been doing acting for a very long time. So I'm an actress, I'm a model, and I have a production company. And I'm producing this documentary through my production company. 
Oh, The Mystic Effect is a show that fuses all the elements of art into one production. So there's music, poetry, dance, fashion, and film. This year's Mystic Effect. Every year there's a theme, and this year I wanted to focus on the empowerment of women. So everybody that were that was a part of the show, all the designers, models, performers, they were all females. And I wanted to just say that, you know, women, let's break that stigma of saying that, you know, there's always a little hate there. Let's work together and let's put on an amazing show. And it was amazing. <laughs> I am currently a mortgage agent. I'm an entrepreneur by trade. Um, project management is kind of my forte, so I am just making sure that I back Stacy on this. So at the end of the day, that's what I do right now. We can help change the stigma by talking about it. We can help change the stigma by uniting, by having conversations, because if we if I wasn't talking about it and sharing my story with, say, Carrie Ann and Natalia, they wouldn't have known what I was going through. So we just need to talk. We need to bring a voice to it. That's the most important thing right now. I think through education, I know we have a cliche that says, um, you know, about education, but I think that by educating people and creating a platform where people know that they can get help is the best way and the best means of it. Because there are people that are struggling privately. And if you're able to give them that tool and educate them on where they can get the help and so they can see that you don't have to live with this mental illness or you don't have to struggle with this, there's different ways that you can get the help so that you can live a productive life. I think that's the best way we can go about it. I think we can change the stigma by continuing to make it a community outreach program. We have to create places where people can communicate with each other. We have to create places where people can feel safe and going out of our way to identify the mental illnesses when they're happening instead of hiding behind a closed door and saying that it doesn't exist or they're okay. No, actually going about it in the sense where when we see it, identify it and talk to the person. We cannot live in a community that every time we see something, we turn a blind eye. Turning a blind eye, I think, has become the most, sorry, it makes me emotional. It, it's, such a, it's such a disgusting thing that we've started doing in our community. So we no longer pay attention to the little stuff. So make it a community effort. If we made it a community effort and we raised ourselves the way we were years ago, where a community would raise a child, okay. maybe that would help to help change the stigma, all the stigmas across the board, not only mental health.